Welcome to Game Club, and today we'll be playing Wienhandler, Wine Cellars Cellars. It's a bit of a mouthful there, but we'll be playing as wine drinkers, buyers, and profiteers as we try to build pyramids and basically drink less than we should. So to start with the unboxing of Wienhandler, I'll take it open up. Um, bog standard box not great quality if I'm perfectly honest with you uh, it says here 10 plus well, I'm not sure if a 10 year old would want to play it 45 minutes uh, 3 to 5 players uh, there's your instruction booklets which um, I'm being perfectly honest with you is quite heavy uh, pretty much one of those sort of instruction booklets that has a lot of detail I, I don't personally feel the game needs it but it's there just in case you need it how to play starting up uh, how the game round works with the auctioning and then obviously playing cards into your your wine deck and then the wine exchange etc etc you have your tokens here you have your vine bottles here and then you have your cards here and as you can see we haven't opened these but we have played it with another copy so I'll just cut that up so join us now as we review vine handler So to review Veen Handler, and I'm going to be perfectly straight with you, uh, it's the sort of game that I think is for seasoned gamers. The booklet, this is why we're not doing a playthrough, because the booklet is really designed for people who know games and understand games, and will basically learn via play and read, not, I guess, via the experience of me playing it. There is no, or at least as I can see it today on the 11th of March, there is no actual um, online video version of the game, but I don't think that the type of player of this will particularly learn from that. The uh, look of the game is very basic. It's kind of targeting its audience. This is designed for people who understand brands, Cabernet Sauvignon, Merlot, uh, Zinfandel, etc. So they understand wines. They understand the attributes of wine. But obviously the sim that there's no deeper discourse with that. This is simply about numerics within the wines themselves and building a pyramid within that. They understand the, the money, the bidding section, the auction section, which is quite simplified and actually quite easy to sort of uh, engage with. Then they'll probably also understand these last, uh, last bid markers, which are very good and I, I quite like those. And that's the one bit of the system I think is really interesting and underutilized. The, the product itself, I think that um, Claudia Helly and, and Roman Pellec who have designed it know what, who they're targeting, know what they're creating and it will certainly suit the people who are used to these sort of games, people who are seasoned gamers who like to compete, but people who will come to this as a game for, let's say, fun, will certainly not be invigorated with it, will probably feel as if the game is not their kind of cup of tea. It doesn't expand on play, it's not the sort of game that's going to grow with multiple plays. I think it's the sort of game that will certainly suffice for one or two weeks or one or two uh, rounds, so you play it a couple of times, but bar that, you won't really return to it. So overall I'd say Veen Handler is season gamers only and not a long time draw 